Hello guys, today in this tutorial, uh, we'll see how we can program Node MCO using the Arduino ID. For that, you will need Arduino ID, and uh, this is the link where you can download Arduino ID. Download it according to your operating system. If you have a Windows, uh, if you have a Windows operating system, Mac or Linux, download it accordingly. And uh, after we do <coughs> this, you can. Uh, install it and uh, something like this some id like this would pop up but don't uh, rush into programming so far uh, we first need to install usb to com port drivers so that you can actually flash uh, you can actually uh, put code in your node mcu for that you need usb to com port drivers and uh, we are using silicon labs uh, drivers uh, the link is given in the description. This works for us. We have tested this. You can download it according to your platform or operating system. So <clears throat> after this, when we uh, and you, after you uh, uh, download this, just unzip it and uh, install it. It's an executable file. After we do this, uh, we still need to make it. Comp we still need to make this Arduino ID compatible with uh, our Node MCU or ESP8266. For that, you need to go to preferences and add a package uh, <coughs> for which will install the board manager for ESP8266. The link would be given in the description. And then you need to actually install that board manager. For that, you need to go to tools, board, and boards manager. And you will see all the boards <coughs> uh, included here. So you need to find ESP8266 over here, as you can see it's here and uh, when you click it there would be an install button but we have already installed it so that's all and after this you can uh, try running your code. Uh, just make sure one more thing guys. Uh, so guys you need to plug in your node MCU using the USB cable to your computer. And then you need to select node MCU board over here uh, because we are programming on node MCU obviously and you also need to select the proper COM port in this case we have uh, it as COM4 you can check this under device manager that which one belongs to what uh, as you can have multiple such devices connected to your computer so for now uh, we would try a, some, some we would try some basic example of blinking the LED which is kind of like a hello world program in the world of uh, IoT 13 16 16 is uh, a built-in uh, LED pin so you can try running it up uh, you can compile it and then upload onto your board compilation is done now you can upload it You guys can see how it's blinking. Okay guys, you can see the blue LED blinking on Node MCU.